What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. I'm here today because I need some more money from baby daddy, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Does she have queen across her chest? Stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, God. He's been doing a lot of social media stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, let me have some more money because wow. my baby needs it. Oh, he's living his best life, okay? He's, how, how good is he living? Oh, he's he living good. He's big going back, on trips back. after trips. He's flashing money. And he, he just recently flashed a little ring. I guess he gave one of his little chicks. It sounds like she's bitter. She just wants to get back at him. She didn't mention the kid once, but was sure to mention he was enjoying his life, which mm. is unacceptable and only means he isn't paying enough child support. I just need my money. All right, so you need the money for your son, right? Yes. Okay, and it's not your money, it's your son's money. I think I'm gonna put him in karate too. Uh, Man, she, she going too far, Nate. You are, you know what? Stupid. You just came here to waste my time. So I just you... want my son to be in everything. I just want it him to be It sounds like you want to tell me you want to put him in everything so you can get more money off of this man. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, I'm not here to play in your little petty game. Sure, and I'm not going to mom. do that. I'm not going to do that. So you know what I'm going to do? Since you came here to waste my time, I'm going to make sure I don't waste any more of yours. I'm denying your request and dismissing this case. Really? <laughs> really? I am. <laughs> oh! Stupid. I can't believe this. Well, That's I can't you believe you came in here to play these games. My son needs This is why, gentlemen, we have to take accountability for the women that we make babies with. I was thinking about this yesterday, and if men are going to be the leaders and the movers and shakers in society, we really have to take more accountability than the women. Just hear me out. I know that's brutal to hear, but like the simp endemic is real right now. Going out there and perpetuating this 304 activity, this 304 lifestyle for these women. Who's donating to these OF girls? Newsflash, it's men. Guys, we have to end this simp endemic. Therefore, these women will get offline and stop sharing their bodies like this and do something else. Men are the ones that consume the majority of this content so we have to take more accountability yes does it suck yes probably you don't want to hear it but that's kind of the thing we're the leaders right so we have to lead and show the way so it's just it's just rough because these women are just following our lead and saying oh well they're okay with it they're donating to it then yeah it must be okay we have to stop it the simp has to end in 2024 money no it sounds like you want the money ma'am is there anything further my new husband is a fantastic provider. I do get an allowance, about $500 a week. How much money does your husband make? I'm really not sure. The car that he drives was about 200,000. And you only get a $500 a week? You know what, that's not my business. That's not the reason I'm here. His success has nothing to do with me or my daughter or okay. our daughter. And uh, I just want a little more help. What we can do, ma'am, is make you pay more in child support. Well, how much are, are we talking about? <laughs> We're going to base it off that $500 a week allowance that you make. Okay. So, your child support obligation. <laughs> she was trying to flex and that stuff turned around. She's just sitting there like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. buddy. Comes out to $396. Notice how he only wanted help for his daughter. While she wanted to get back at her ex using her kid as a shield. Brutal, dude. I'm not sure why nobody wants to speak up about this, but I guess I'll be the one to do it. There is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. Stupid. We need to get a search party together, figure out what has happened, where have they gone, and You need to look in the mirror and realize that you are not eligible for these types of men. Shots fired! Shots fired! They're not looking for you. As soon as the girls start clapping for me, I'm like, I'm already checked out. We do about this because it's a problem. Look, I have said this before and I will say it again. There is no shortage of good men. Facts. It is simply that you don't see the men that are good men in your life as dateable, but they're probably good friends. Like they're probably in your friend zone. And then for the good men that aren't in your life, it is because they're not looking to date. They probably spent far too long in a relationship that took advantage of their goodness. Those mm -hmm. men are either working, they're either at home or they're just hanging out with friends or doing some sort of hobby in seclusion. Nobody 
nobody talks about this. I mean, facts, but- dude, there's so many good men out there, so many blue collar men that work these hard grunt jobs. I'm talking like anything from bricklayers, construction workers, guys that are that do landscaping, truck drivers, underwater welders, guys in the military. There's tons of really, really good guys out there, but the thing is they are invisible to these women because they want six feet, six inches, six pack, and the thing is that's the mark of the beast. Coincidence? I think not. It is very difficult, very difficult to be attracted to the person that is good for you. Like good on paper, right? Like they're This good. is just what's crazy to me is like these women, they say they want a good guy, but then they refute all their claims in saying they want toxicity. How childish is that? Oh! How childish is that? Us as men, we would look like it. Like if if you were around your guy friends and you're like, I mean, she's a really good chick, man. But like, I just want the toxic ones. We'd be like, you're an idiot. Like women, why aren't you holding other women accountable? Like as men, we try to hold each other accountable. That's what this channel's about: holding men accountable, but also holding women accountable and showing the hypocrisy in the dating market. But like, ladies, if you want things to change, you got to hold each other accountable. It's not our job to hold you accountable. Wait, like you know that this is a good choice for you but something something is missing and you don't know what it is it's that you're looking most likely you're looking for that chaotic adrenaline rush that spontaneous you when you like the person that is not good for you honestly just grow up that's all this i continue to it's hear challenge. women say nonsense like this i mean she even admitted it she's saying free healing it's hard to stop doing this behavior basically saying that women who do this are injured where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you well i'm sorry to have to break it to you but those men they've already woken up and they've left because you see <laughs> men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you we've mm. seen that while you demand 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 things from us you offer little to nothing in return at least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you and on right, top you can of get a prosy you you, you want to get bucked to get a prosy you want to get your house clean get a maid you want somebody to talk to? I'm sure there's hotlines for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the use anymore? That for decades now, y'all told us you didn't want us. Y'all told us you didn't need us. We heard you. And mm-hmm. now we're off making a better life for ourselves. One that doesn't involve you. Would we like to have a great relationship? Sure, who wouldn't? But men have finally figured out that the risk simply isn't worth the reward anymore. The juice ain't worth the squeeze, brother. And now that you guys are figured out that we figured it out, Well, now you're wondering, where did all the men go? And then there's this. Like, where are the men who would walk 500 miles? And I would walk 500 (laughs) miles. Now you know why I was never the lead singer in any of the bands I was in. He did that. Anyway, last I knew, they were raking in the royalties still from that song they created 30 years ago that I still can't get out of my head. And then walk another 500 miles for a total of 1,000 just to fall down at your door. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's no way I'm sorry, lady, but nobody's walking 500 miles just to smell one of your farts. You're not special, honey. Well, I'm singing that god-awful song, do you? All kidding aside, the point I want to make is that women often want men to meet the expectations of things they hear in songs or see in the movies. As I frequently call it, they're searching for that perfect Disneyland prince, the one that doesn't actually exist, but yet they all think does and that they deserve. Men Mm -hmm. see it for what it is, an expectation of perfection, Something no one can achieve. And knowing well, and that- here's my thing with expectations. When expectations get set and then they don't get met, people get upset. These women set their expectations so high, thinking they're going to get this ideal, perfect 10 out of 10 Chad. And then when they can't find that man, they're like, where are all the good men at? <laughs> what happened to back in the day when a good old woman was just a good old woman? Didn't have a lot of mileage. She can get on a man's program and she could be a good helpmate to a man. What happened to those days, man? Man. Days are far long and gone now. That why would they enter into a relationship with someone who expects that of them? Someone mm-hmm. who actually believes a man should walk 500, 1,000, even a million miles That's crazy. just to be with them. Men are done playing these silly little games, ladies. Mm-hmm. Life is not a rom-com or some romantic song. Life is, well life and the completely unrealistic expectations that you've all set now oh wait sorry the higher standards have reached a level of absurdity that men look at it and go 
yeah, no more. We're done. Especially when they realize that they're not going to get anything in return, no matter how hard they work yeah. to woo you over. Where are they at? Well, to wrap this up, where they're at is sitting home or hanging out with their buds, playing video games, playing guitar, enjoying life. No longer having to deal with the drama, no longer having to deal with the financial drain of expensive dates, only to get ghosted shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. No longer dealing with the ridiculous expectations. Oh, sorry higher standards that you've all set. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, but men didn't create this situation. You did. But men have now seen it for what it is, and they're done and walking away. And the really sad part is, they ain't coming back anytime soon. Surprise, yeah. surprise. A female director behind a movie that focused on how society overlooks women gets overlooked by one of the most prestigious awards in cinema. In the real world, you don't get participation trophies. Instead, you get rewarded based on how good of a job you do. Yeah. I don't give a about privacy. Check his phone, check his laptop, check his computer, his work computer, his tablet, check it off. You need to be absolutely sure. And I will tell you why I advocate for this. 10 years ago, I was engaged to a man who for the entire 10 year- 10 years ago, I got, I got cheated on and I got burned. So uh, I want every other girl to heed my warning and take my advice, a single lonely woman. Bro, stop. We were engaged, was giving me all of the signs that he was hiding something. I knew deep down in my gut that this man was cheating on me, but I had no evidence of it. The one thing I hadn't done, though, was I hadn't checked his phone. Now, I had the password to his phone, and I know in his mind he thought that by giving me the password that was somehow making him look more trustworthy, but he had this phone glued to his body like it was an organ. And when we first met, that phone used to go off constantly. I always heard texts come through. I always heard... Can you guys see maybe why he cheated? <laughs> Can you guys maybe understand why this man cheated if this is what you were coming home to? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably cheat too. Phone calls come through, Snapchats, whatever. But all of a sudden, like maybe a month after we were together, he had silenced everything on his phone. I never heard any notifications come through. Then he started hiding his phone under the pillow at night. Now, when I go to sleep at night, my phone's on the charger, but he always had his phone under the pillow. But then Super Bowl Sunday comes around and his team that he bet on won. So he got completely wasted and knocked the hell out in bed and had no idea that I had pulled that phone out from under the pillow. So I go through the phone and he thought he was smart. He had deleted all the text messages and all of the pictures and video on his phone itself. But what he forgot about was the cloud. So I went through the cloud and guess what I found? I found hundreds of photos and videos of him, photos and videos of him with multiple women. I probably counted, I think, over 20 at that point, but I'm sure, based on the information I later got, that he had cheated on me with over 50, maybe 100. Now, imagine if I hadn't trusted my instincts. If you enjoyed this oh video, Oh my God, I 50 to 100 men, women? <laughs> this dude's a king, bro. All right, so I got a little surprise for the little guy today. A lot of you guys have been giving me a hard time saying, Levi, Carrots, like dogs don't eat carrots. He's not a vegetarian. I get that. He eats meat for lunch. But I went out and I they have these at PetSmart right now. I don't know if you can see them. But they're like straight. It's a Kaplan fish by Dentley's. I went out and bought. Dude, these smell so bad though. Like they stink to high heaven. So I was like, you know what? What is going on? Sorry, I got a call. Um, <laughs> they stink to absolute high heaven. So when I, when I was like, when I open these, they're going to stink. I already know it. So I'm going to have to just be careful. But here we go. He, he wants one of these. I know he does. Loki. Ooh, look at him. Do you want a fish? You want a little fishy? All right, let me grab this with my left hand because these suckers stink, dude. Come here. Free. Go to your place. He'll have it eaten before he even gets back to his place. Look at him. I'm like, oh my god, they smell so bad, dude. I'm going to give him a twofer. Should I give him a twofer? Two for one? One's in the chat if I should do a twofer. All right, we'll do a twofer. Loki, come here. Sit. Free. Free. Go to your place. Oh god, these stink so bad, dude. <laughs> and that's all over my hands. <laughs> oh... But here's the thing, dude. Once you do, like, going back to this chick's point of, like, she went through her man's phone. I'm going to hold my hand over here now. Um, going through this dude's phone, it's like, in the beginning, you need to let this girl know if you're going to be monogamous or not. 
And the thing is, is more than likely she'll know. But I was always very upfront when I would get into these situationships in college and in high school with these girls. Be like, hey, I'm not looking for anything. I'm looking to have a good time. If she's ever like, well, what are we? We're friends. We're having a great time. If I didn't want a relationship, I would vocalize that. Because I think being a communicative and leading the charge on the dynamic that you want in that relationship shows a sign of maturity. And if a woman can respect that, great. And if she can't, on to the next. There's no reason to lead a woman on and then lead to a heartbreak by just lying to her. Don't lie. That, that, that karma will come back to bite you in the butt eventually. So just tell her how it is. Hey, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. I'm just looking for somebody to have fun with. It is what it is. And you can have your own justifications, whether you just got out of a relationship, you've been single for a while and you're dating to marry, things like that. Like, hey, just be honest with these people. I think I just think that karma will come back to bite you eventually. But to, to, to some of these other women, the women that want just like money out of these men, like in divorces and stuff like that, it's like it's absolutely crazy to me. It's always me, 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 I, 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 my, my, my. It's never about the child. But when a man wants money, it's always about the kid. It's just so true that you see men be more inclusive and women be more reclusive where they're very selfish and men are usually much more. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're much more equitable when it comes to how everyone feels instead of just themselves. This is why I say women grow old, they never grow up. And to the other women that are talking about like, where are all the good men at? There are good men literally everywhere. Everywhere. Walking walking up and down the streets. Go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart. There are single men everywhere that are great men. A lot of the men that are blue collar workers are some of the best men on the market. You want to know why? Because they're loyal. They're hardworking. They'll come home, give you your check, take care of you. They're very thankful. They have a lot of gratitude. They understand that what they do is very tough. So when they get home, they're willing to be soft. Like These are some of the best men on the market. But all these women want these guys that are six feet and have million-dollar businesses. Well, here's the thing, ladies. If you want these men, you have to bring something to the table as well. Because the thing is, if he's built this entire empire and dynasty by himself, why does he need another woman to come in and have the, the ability to take half of it? These men are smart enough to know to avoid you like the plague. Therefore, if you do want one of these men, you need to be fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, energy, uh, quaint, uplifting, empathetic, uh, eloquent, nurturing. That's what you need to be. That's what you need to be. And if you're not that, you need to be working towards that. Let me know in the comments. If we were to switch roles, and if you were a woman and women were men, do you think men would have an easier time being women? or women would have an easier time being men. Personally, I think us men, we would crush it as women because we understand men are so basic. We are so basic. We just want you to be loyal. We want you to love us, not look at other men, keep our nuts empty, our stomachs full, and give us some peace and quiet. Like, I would be the best wife or girlfriend because I would know exactly what men would want. But I think women would not do a good job of being men because I think most women don't have game. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, let me let me know. Has a girl ever came up to you and really spit some game? <laughs> Bro, girl's game is trash. It is so bad. <laughs> girls usually come up, they're like, hey, what's up? Like, that's their game. <laughs> what's going on? Hey, with nine Ys. You ever got one of those messages? <laughs> that's their game. It's because they don't realize what you have to actually do. Go out in the market and, and talk to somebody, cold approach someone. It's, it's nerve wracking. It really is. And a lot of people have social anxiety, especially after COVID. A lot of people are like, I don't want to approach anybody. And everybody's really like cautious when it comes to, you know, going up and cold approaching someone. So it's like us as men, we get used to rejection at a lot early age, whereas women don't. That's just how it is. Going into sports getting picked on, being bad at sports. Like I, I realized humility was a real thing in like third or fourth grade. I was like, wow, if I'm bad at something, people are going to tell me. Like my mom will be my cheerleader, great, but my peers will let me know where I'm really at. And I feel like with girls, it's not that. Like women right now, if you ask them, do you think Lizzo is beautiful? And you say, and they'll say like, yeah, I think Lizzo is beautiful. And then you could say, well, I think you look like Lizzo. <laughs> and they would not they would not take that as a compliment but it's like but you just said that Lizzo's beautiful what do you mean I thought she was beautiful I, I, I'm calling you beautiful what, 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 are you, what are you talking about so it's just so funny to me like they're like yeah she's beautiful but then you call her you say she looks like Lizzo bro, bro they take that not as a compliment it's just wild to me because us as men we don't we don't say like if you're a good looking dude you know you're a good looking dude and other other guys might say it like I've seen we've been on the channel before. If I see a good looking guy, I'm like, yeah, that's a good looking guy right there. That's a Chad right there. You know what I mean? Like beard, chiseled jawline, strong jaw, nice eyes, high cheekbones, good hair, muscles like, yeah, bro, you earned it. Good job. And we respect that as men because we understand how hard that is to achieve. 
besides the genetic part, but like guys that are in really good shape, like bro, good for you. If you're in great shape, awesome. But that's why I say if you wanna if you wanna unbuck your life, you gotta do these three things. Go listen to As a Man Thinketh by James Allen, get in the gym and have a and have a healthier diet. You'll feel so much better, and then your self-esteem will skyrocket because you'll look at yourself in the mirror and say, Wow, I'm working on my body, I'm I'm gonna be in better shape, and you'll live longer and you'll feel better and you'll be able to do more things. So that's why I'm a big proponent of the gym. A lot of guys are like, You shouldn't go to the gym. It doesn't say that stuff in the Bible. It's like, I get it, dude, but like your health is your wealth. If you're not healthy, you could live to be 40 and croak. You don't want that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, cop the ebook, go follow me on Rumble. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.